Hi everybody, it's Lene with Bloom Feather Studio. Um, I thought today it would be fun to um, paint a hummingbird. So I have an example of one that's similar um, that I painted a couple days ago. And um, so I am going to use three different colors. I'm going to show them to you on this little swatch. Um, a, a lemon yellow and a... So it's this one, it's just a Winsor Newton lemon yellow, okay? And then a Daniel Smith lunar black with just a little touch of purple in it. So it's lunar bat black from Daniel Smith. And then my favorite quinacridone magenta um, from Daniel Smith. So we're going to use those three colors and that's how they look all blended together. But we're not going to blend the yellow too much with the black. Um, we're going to keep, kind of keep it separate. Okay. And so I already drew out the hummingbird. I don't know if you can see it right here. Um, I recommend drawing uh, your birds before you start painting they're a little bit more complicated and you have to make sure you get the eye in the right position and the wings um, slanted the right way and so um, if this is really intimidating for you which it was for me in the beginning when I first started doing birds I was really intimidated by the shape of the bird and so what I recommend is that you you can trace something or you can draw something you can sketch it and then cut it out so I have a cut out bird here it's a little bit of a mess because I've used it a lot so I I traced it and I cut it out and I that way I can quickly sketch it um, if I if I need to and I I like to do birds over and over until I get them right um, and that's just a, a shortcut, an easy way to have your shape ready to go, okay? So something to be careful of is that the beak and the eye should line up, okay? Kind of in a straight line. If you get it a little bit off, it kind of looks funny. Um, so I, I like to do the beak, oops. I like to do the beak and then um, the eye is just a tiny bit above the beak. So the beak line kind of comes here and the eye is just a little bit above, kind of centered um, in the head area. And then for the hummingbird, there are um, feathers that kind of start pointing up, you know, like more straight up. And then gradually as you go down, you want to I didn't draw this way, but usually when I paint, I kind of go like this and start pointing them towards the other wing as I go down. Same with this, so up, and then I'm gonna start pointing them toward the this back area as I come down. And then for the, the tail, um, the tail's kind of fun. It has feathers that kind of splay out. So I'll be doing this one the longest and then shorter and kind of like like a fan there at the bottom um, and that's about it uh, the hummingbird has a long generally has a long thin beak that gets a little wider toward the head and that's about it so let's get started painting okay so let's get started um, my two brushes are the filbert princeton filbert three quarter inch um, with the rounded edges and it's a flat brush and we're mostly going to just be using the side of it and then I have a number eight brush here um, that I got with a gouache set um, it says number eight but it's kind of um, pretty small it looks more like a number six with a nice pointed tip um, so we're going to get started with that first I'm going to just lightly wet the with a little bit of pink I'm gonna wet, wet the head yep. 
go around the eye. And the eye's kind of an almond shape. So right about there, and I have a little too much water, so I'm going to take some of that off. I'm going to add some color to it. I'm going to pull this down a little here, all the way down to about there. And then I'm going to get some nice, thick color, go around it again with some color. Make sure the edges are nice and crisp and even. Okay. All right. Maybe go out a little bit with this like that. Define the eye a little bit more. Make it smaller, the opening. It's kind of like an almond shape there. Okay, leave that. And then let's work on the wings. So I'm going to grab this brush. You get a whole lot of black paint. I'm going to come here. I'm going to turn this here. I'm going to come to the top of it. Do a nice long black line starting at the top. It's very pale, so I'm going to make it darker. Add a little purple. Maybe a little blue. Let me see what color this is. There's a little swatch here. Yeah, so that's much darker. All right, so come back here. Add more color. Okay. And then I'm just going to keep going down like this. And then I'm going to start angling a little bit more like toward the back of the bird. Like that. Get some more. Go to the top of the other wing. You see this? Start at the top, come down. Woo! Where'd that blue come from? Fix that. Let me just get rid of that blue. Okay. Just adding a little more purple to it. Okay, and then coming down like that, angling it a little bit. Looks good. All right, now I'm gonna rinse off my brush really well, dab it on my paper towel, make sure there's no more color in it because we don't want to get any dark color in with the yellow. So I'm gonna grab some yellow, a little bit of green, press it on my swatch a little, yeah, looks good. I'm going to get some yellow and I'm going to start here with some yellow. It needs to be brighter. Get a little bit more here. So 
um, hoping that it'll blend nicely and bleed in with everything. So obviously this is not like a super hyper realistic bird. It's just more of a stylized fun bird. I'm trying to grab some of this color back out of it so that it blends together nicely. Okay. All right, now for the tail. Go ahead and grab some black again, purpley black. I'm going to start with the longest part, which is the back of it, and I'm going to go up. And then like a fan, I'm going to go a little shorter, a little bit pointed that way, curving it up. go okay now I think I'm gonna soften the body a little bit here a little pink to the tail area like that maybe I'll just leave some space in the body some white space Adding a little more yellow there. There we go. Okay. Take some color off here. Just soften it up. I want these two to bleed together, the pink and the yellow, a little bit. Just stab it with my paper towel. Okay, and I'm going to add a little pink here to see if we can get it to blend a bit. See what happens. Just add a little bit more yellow. Okay. There we go. So with birds, you want to try to make sure that all the different parts um, join up together. So I want to make sure that this right here joins up to the head. I'm going to add more color to the very bottom of the tail. I'm going to come down here and just add a bit more color to the base of the tail. Make sure the top of it comes up to a nice point there. Okay, let's see how that dries. And while we wait for it to dry, let's do the beak. So I like the pink and the, and the black of the beak to kind of blend together. So I'm going to come in with a little bit of pink here. Gonna fix something here a little bit. Okay. Um, 
And then I'm going to grab some black. And join it up with the pink. Add a little bit more black. Get nice and dark. Okay. All right, so this is what we have so far. We'll see how it dries. So I'm just gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and do the eye. Okay, so the bird is dry. And now it's time to do the eye. So what I like to do for the eye is I like to do like a um, like a C, something like this, and with more paint on the bottom than the top. Sometimes I like to join it up, but sometimes I'll leave the space open. And you want to have just a little bit of light come on the top of the eye, so you want to leave some space there you see that okay so here i'm going to go ahead and do the bird that looks pretty good it's easy to mess up the eye, so sometimes less is better. Just a little bit more right here. And I'm just gonna leave that like that. So the bird is finished. Let me take, take this down so you can get a closer look at it. Here's the bird. I love how the yellow and the black blended together nicely. So next week, um, we will, I will make a video of maybe a flower so the bird can be flying towards a flower and we can add that to the side of the bird next week. All right. Happy painting, you guys. Show me what you've done. Uh, you can find me at, at Instagram at Balloon Feather Studio um, and you can link me to your pictures. All right. Have a good week. Bye.